standing wave reflectometry, or SWR, is another one of the sine wave test methods. In this case, a sine wave is sent down and reflected back. The incident and the reflected sine wave add up to create a standing wave. They always do on a wire. The phase shift is measured by receiving the magnitude of the sine wave at the front of the line. And then, as you shift the sine wave, you actually create a pattern that allows you to tell the distance to the fault based on the magnitude of the standing wave for all the different frequencies that you detect. The challenge with standing wave reflectometry is that you're actually having to measure the magnitude of a sine wave that is relatively high frequency, so you're needing to use electronics that allow you to do that. Thus, it's probably a more expensive test system than frequency domain reflectometry or mixed signal reflectometry. And like all sine wave methods, it is limited to locating dead faults, hard faults, opens or shorts, on dead wires that don't have signals on them. It also can't be used in highly noisy environments. So standing wave reflectometry, one of the class of sine wave methods, is effective for locating dead faults on dead wires, but it's not effective for locating intermittent faults on live wires. Live wire innovation is based on the spread spectrum time domain reflectometry, or SSTDR method, that I developed in early 1999. This method is ideal, it's the best method that I have found for locating intermittent faults on live electrical cables in realistic aircraft environments. The reason this method is so effective is that it is able to send a signal, a pseudo noise code signal, down the wire and receive the reflection back without interfering with the aircraft signal. In fact, we can be well below the noise margin of the aircraft. And in addition, the aircraft does not interfere with us. And that is because we are able to make our signals so small without the larger aircraft signal interfering with us. Very important part for this method. Although this method was designed, I designed it, for locating intermittent faults on live electrical wires, it also ends up being an extremely efficient and effective and sensitive method for locating dead faults on the ground as well. The fact that we're able to control the sensitivity of this method allows us to do many other things that other reflectometry methods have not been able to and will not be able to do. So SSTDR is the method that I have chosen for live wire innovation because I think it is the most effective method for locating intermittent faults and also the most sensitive method for locating dead faults on the ground.